Welcome to the question and answer portion of the physical security, fire detection and suppression. My name is Liz von der Heiden. Question number one, as a CISSP, what is your priority? The answer is C, protecting human lives is your number one priority as a CISSP. Number two, which activator sensor is associated with rate of rise? Is it heat, flame, fire, or smoke? The answer is heat. When a predetermined temperature is reached, a heat activated sensor is triggered. Also, the sensor is triggered when the temperature rises quickly. The rate of rise type of sensor produces more false positives. Number three, which type of activator sensor works with either by photoelectric optical detection or by radioactive device? The answer is C, smoke activator sensor. Others use both detection methods to increase sensitivity to smoke. Sensitivity alarms can be used to detect and thus deter smoking in areas where it is banned, such as toilets and schools. Number four, which type of activator sensor is used to discern the presence of infrared energy? The answer is D, flame. This type of sensor functions by energy associated with the flame or the pulsation of the flame. A flame activated sensor is the most expensive of the three types. For CISSP candidates, please remember the three types of fire detectors are heat, smoke, and flame. Question number five, what type of suppression methods are used for paper or wood fires? Is it class A, class B, class C, or class D? The answer is class A. These types of fires should be suppressed with water or soda acid. And they are the most common types of fires and fairly simple to fight and contain by simply removing the heat, oxygen, or fuel, or by suppressing the underlying chemical reaction. Question number six. Class B is a suppression method used for... The answer is B. They are used for gasoline or oil fires. So, CO2, soda acid, and inhalant should be used to fight these types of fires. Question number seven. Which type of suppression method is used when dry powder is applied? The answer is class D. Class D fires are combustible metals such as magnesium and titanium fires. These types of fire are suppressed by applying dry powder. So don't try to use water on combustible metal because it would make the fire worse. Question number eight, what is water used for? Water is used to reduce temperature. Without sufficient heat, a fire cannot begin and it cannot continue. Heat can be removed by applying water. Question number nine, what is soda acid used for? The answer is A, soda acid is used to remove fuel. Without fuel, a fire will stop because of decrease in energy release and a lower temperature. 
removing the fuel thereby decreases the heat. And the last question is question number 10. At what percentage of halon is considered toxic? And the answer is B. At above 10%, people should not be breathing halon because it is toxic. This concludes our question and answer portion. For more videos and question and answers, please visit us at libo.group. Thank you for listening.